Hey R2 Builders, this is Montero D2. I'm here in my shop working on my R2. And uh, I wanted to do a video showing you guys the power system that I plan on using my in my uh, droid. Uh, I've been kicking around ideas as to what kind of batteries I want to use for as long as I've been building this thing and I never made a decision. So I finally decided recently, um, one of our local builders here in the Bay Area, Gerard, has been using uh, 18 volt drill batteries uh, in his droid for years and he likes them. Um, so that was one option I was considering. And then recently, another Bay Area builder, uh, Alan, that's uh, Alan HDDS on the boards, um, he got these Milwaukee red lithium, uh, they're lithium ion batteries. And what made me decide to go with these is that I was impressed by the fact that they're 9.0 amp hours. I've never seen that many amp hours on a drill before, on a drill battery before. So I went ahead and got these, and initially I got them on Amazon from a couple different sellers. I got the charger uh, and the battery, and then a separate battery, and it cost me almost 300 bucks. Um, but then I found them at Home Depot, and you get the charger and two batteries for uh, $199. So that was a really good deal. So I sent those back, and I, I picked this up at Home Depot. Um, and I plan on keeping the charger. Let me just pan over here and charger will eventually go inside of my baby gunk droid. After all, he is a power droid, so that's what he's supposed to do, provide power. So that's where I'm going to put the charger. Um, and I was considering where to put the battery in my droid. And there's a couple different options. The back of my droid opens, but I've got the electronic board, uh, electronics board kind of sandwiched right near the back, so there wasn't a lot of room to fit a big battery in there. Um, and also, I don't want to have to take the back on and off every time I want to put the battery in. Another option, and I think this is what Gerard does, he takes the dome off and he puts the batteries in through here. But again, I didn't want to take the dome off every time I wanted to um, replace the battery. So I looked around on the droid and I noticed the pocket vent. And I thought, hey, maybe I can fit the battery in there. And I looked on the boards and I didn't see that anybody else had done that before. I, I think I may be the first one, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so I didn't have a pocket vent at the time, so I used Ziz's flat pack plans say that three times fast, uh, to create this one out of styrene. And I added a little extra plastic in the back to keep it so that it has no play and it's, it's in there you know, fairly secure. And I'm gonna add some magnets to keep it from falling out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just take this off and the drill battery is gonna be right in there and I can just reach in and pull it out. Uh, right now I haven't added the receiver in there yet. Um, I'm still working on that. So I'll show you um, how uh, I did that. And uh, I had to file the uprights here just so I can get enough room to have my fingers uh, grasp these buttons in order to be able to pull it out uh, when it's clicked into the, into the receiver. Uh, so let me just take this out here. And one other cool thing it has, it's got this indicator on here that shows you know, how much charge the battery has. And I can just push it while it's in there just to check it uh, without having to take it out. Some drill batteries have it on the other side or, or on the side here. So I like that it's, it's right here and accessible. Uh, so let me show you the uh, system I'm going to use to uh, put this into the droid. I'm just going to bring the camera around here. So what Alan did, and you should go check out his videos on his build log, uh, was really cool. He, he 3D printed his own cradles that these will lock into inside of his droid. Um, and I don't have a 3D printer, and that wasn't an option for me, so I decided to just buy... Uh, a Milwaukee product that uses these um, these batteries, and uh, let me just let me show it right there. So this is the bottom of a uh, light that I purchased for about 28 bucks. It's a Milwaukee M18 light, and I just cut the top off of it and replaced the wires that went to the light with my own uh, 12 gauge wires, and I added the power pole connectors. Um, so the battery. Once this unit here is inside of my droid on the other side of the pocket vent, the battery will just drop in through the pocket vent and click right into there. And that's it. When I want a new one, I just take it out and swap the new one in and charge this one. Um, so I'm going to do another video once I have that uh, in place and I'll show you uh, exactly how it works. Um, so we'll get to that uh, once, I'm, once I'm done with that process. Thanks for watching.